Hello everyone. I wanted to take an opportunity to wish you well for the future. I know that the school's coming towards the, the summer holidays at the end of next week and everybody's thoughts will be on having a well-deserved break. This past school year has been a year like no other. We've heard it said so many times. But I just want to acknowledge the creativity of teachers and parents, deputies and head teachers, and all the support staff in being able to adapt during the pandemic, to be able to offer learning opportunities to children in new ways, going online, home teaching, and all that happened. Um, I just want to say thank you and well done to everyone. Also to the pupils who adapted to those different ways of teaching. I think everyone's looking forward to a break now and the photograph that you see, the picture behind me, is of a group of elephants at a water hole in South Africa and they're having a lot of fun. They're spraying each other with water and they really are enjoying themselves. It's a photograph that I took when we had a visit over to South Africa in 2018. It's a happy scene, a happy scene of having fun. And I hope that you will have fun and be able to play and relax. That's pupils and teachers and parents during the school holidays. As you look ahead to, I know that our thoughts are on changes ahead. Um, thoughts are on nursery children moving up to primary one, everyone changing classes, primary sevens moving up to high school. And I want to wish you well for the future there too. Change is inevitable. It comes all around and the challenge is to adapt to the change in order to be the best that you can. You may have heard that I'm having a change too because I'm moving from St Margaret's Church in Glenrothes and I'm going to be ministering in Burnt Island as the local minister at Burnt Island Parish Church. So I too have changes ahead and having been in Glenrothes for almost seven years, it's going to be a change um, of people, change of church and change of location where I'm going to be. But there are opportunities ahead. I wanted to show you this, boys and girls. This is, I wonder if you can guess what it is actually. I don't think you will be able to guess. It is actually a coconut shell that has been transformed into a plate, a little plate that you can use and to put things in. I have it in my office and I can put paper clips and rubbers and various little bits and pieces so that I keep them all together. A coconut skin has made been made into something that makes a lasting difference. And so I want to challenge you boys and girls to whatever you're going to do next to make a difference for the good, for yourself and for others. And like the coconut shell make a lasting difference. Doesn't have to be a huge thing. Small changes, small acts of kindness can make a huge difference and make a lasting change. You may have heard the story of the starfish. There was a man walking on the beach and he noticed that there was in the distance a girl on the beach, picking something up and throwing it into the sea. So he moved closer to have a look to see what was happening. And he discovered that the beach was full of starfish. The starfish had been swept onto the beach by a, a freak wave and the tide was now going out and they were all going to be left on the beach to die. And this little girl was picking them up one by one and throwing them back into the sea. And the man said to her, as he got close, he said, why are you doing that? You're never going to be able to put all these starfish back into the sea. 
you, you're not making much of a difference. And the girl said to him, I'm making a difference to this starfish as she threw it back. For each starfish she was thrown back into the sea, it made a difference. So make a difference, whatever you do. Make a difference for the good. Be all you can be. And know that into all the changes that God goes with you and God goes before you. Because God is a God who loves each one of us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the creativity of the year that's just passed in school. We thank you for the new ways of learning and for the new ways of working together. We thank you for each other and for the contribution of all the teachers, deputies, head teachers, all the support staff, janitors, and for our parents. For each one who's made a difference in a small way. That together that, di that difference is more significant. So as we look forward to the changes ahead, but first for a break over the summer, we thank you that you go with us into the future. We thank you for your son Jesus, who came to show us how much you love us. And we offer this prayer in his name. Amen. Farewell, boys and girls, teachers, parents, and I wish you the best. Bye-bye.